Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 310. I am Neil. I am Annalise. Hi, Annalise. How are you? Good. Are you? Sure. Great. <laughs> I don't think you are, but I, I, I hey, didn't ask. So. Hey, hey. <laughs> what, what's the worst that could possibly happen? When do you think about it? Well, there's quite a few things, I think. Shoot myself in the face? Wow. I mean, is that is we that a have bad guns, thing? Thank God. Oh, so, that you know of. Are you serious? Well, we have those little laser guns for the no, Star Wars no, things. No, 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 no. Um, tell everybody what we're about. We are a uh, couples podcast who live in Cal. No, we are a couple who's married. Mm-hmm. We are no, mm-hmm. we're a married couple who lives in California. No, we're a married couple who lives in Napa, California. It's gonna be a while. That spends. A, <laughs> uh, we like to do a podcast where we just talk about our lives and what's going on. Mm-hmm. We like to be honest mm-hmm. and open, and we have a good time doing it. Usually. <laughs> Well, I mean, not every time has been a good time. <laughs> this is going to be a good time. I'm just saying there's been, if you listen, we've been doing it for six years. There look, have been a couple times it was look, not a good time. Look. It was okay, forced. You guys, it's not going to be a great time every time. No. Okay? I mean, please. Wow. Every, everybody, <laughs> hey, Kitty. Hey, everybody hey. can enjoy it. So, hey. Chris is here. Listen, what the hell is going right on now, around here, you guys? A, Happy Sunday. There's a lot of craziness going on with the whole sickness, the world's <laughs> on sickness. sickness. So, we have been live for a while. We are mm-hmm. live again this time. We're probably going to be a little more interactive with the chat on this one, just simply since this is kind of a social gathering as well. Right. So if you're uh, if you're listening after this, thank you very much. And we apologize for maybe a lot of the uh, chat going on with people that you don't know that are on the sorry, show and can't and see that. If you're watching this <laughs> sorry, not sorry. later on replay on hey, YouTube, Dana. we very much uh, appreciate it. That's very cool. Um, yeah, just thanks. Thanks for everybody for being here. Thanks yeah. for everybody for listening. Uh, we will get into some fun podcast notes as far as podcasting globally and mm-hmm. how numbers have just absolutely tanked. Tanked. <laughs> as with YouTube watches, which is a lot of also fun. Also tanked. <laughs> so there's a lot of people who like quit their job to be full-time YouTubers that are going like, this is not working out for me. Right, well. um, however, I think this is going to probably spark what is going to be the next thing. Which will probably be like, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? We Actually have... talking to your neighbors. I don't know. <laughs> From across the street. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a very sensitive dog in here, just so you know. Um, he is here. Hi, and he's zero. staring at us. He's had a great Hi, day, but I can't promise that there will not be one of Crying. us will have to get up or one of us oh. have to attend to said dog. <laughs> he's... But, You're um, drooling, yes. buddy. Um, so hi, thank Zero. Thank you very much, Dana. Zero, um, thank you for coming been, in and watching um, the show. stalking you on the Facebook and the Twitter. So mm-hmm. um, I know that you are okay, but I appreciate that you're okay and that you check in on us. It's very, very nice. Mm-hmm. And I hope that you are not too bored and you are having a good time. In your, what are you talking? See, apartment. we did this test. Now you're talking all softly, man. You're killing me. No, no, me. You're I will. Killing me I will on this. talk loud. Get into loud it. Loud and proud. Loud and proud. Um. All right. <laughs> so I thought the same thing. Chris was just saying um, that he would thought YouTube watching would have gone up. I have to say that I haven't been listening to a lot of podcasts, but I've been doing more YouTube. And I'm not sure why. I think it's because um, it's just harder to listen to a podcast while you're wandering around the house. You know, so. I used to do it mostly in my commute, which we'll talk about, of course. But um, I think maybe that's why. I don't know. So streaming is up, like Netflix, Disney right. Plus, Hulu. That's up. Right. YouTube is not just simply because usually it's what people do at work when they're trying to get away with pretending that they're working. So a lot of like the the <laughs> little YouTube stuff is kind of out the window. Mm-hmm. So it is very interesting because it's down huge. Right. Yeah. Over. I mean, overall, I'm sure some people are doing better than others and all of that. However across the board and Lisbon has been doing like these articles and things and podcasts about how um, podcast numbers are just tanking okay. overall. I got to turn you up if you're going to be all oh, chop, choppy choppy. I, sorry. I don't, I don't know. I can talk Either louder. get into I it. I will. Wow. Either get into I, it. I am into it. Either be here. To, oh, I've got to turn Tana, Dana blue. Tana. Dana. Tana. Dana, you're going to get a little blue wrench, which means you can. Dana knows. Oh, wow. Come on. Don't treat Dana like he doesn't know. Let's just do this. All right. Just trying to be cool, uh, first of all, I cool. wanted to start off by saying I hope everybody is uh, healthy and safe, and I hope most people are are doing their best to self isolate and stay at home mm-hmm. and wear their stupid masks when they go out in public and all I that mean, stuff. And here's my whole thing with this goddamn thing: <laughs> a lot of people are like resisting it. What's it going to hurt? Right. It's like using your turn signals. Idiots that don't use their turn signals when they change things. So what's it going to hurt if you use yeah. your turn signal? Why be a selfish dick face? Yeah. Why? Like you're only, Just, 
the greater making good, man. things the greater safer. Good. <laughs> You're only making things better. Yeah. Do you like? Did you buy the only Ford that doesn't have a turn signal? No. Like fucking wow. user turn. I'm, I'm sorry. There's freaking user some turn issues signal going in here. There's yeah, levels uh, of issues. <laughs> well, from being an idiot motorcycle rider that rode way too fast mm. in between traffic, it was nice to know when people were going to change right. lanes. I used my turn signal. They may not have seen it at 110 miles an hour, well, but I used it. So use your face mask and self isolate. Yeah. That's my point with the turn signals. And if you haven't like stocked up on groceries by now, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Like why 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 are you wasting your brace time? Well, they're probably in 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 a southern state out <laughs> Look, on the beach. I, I got, have had a Georgia. loaf of bread and an egg. Hanging out. I'm good. A good time. No, no, you're not. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Kitty says, "Got no choice to go out. I'm essential. I am essential, also. Right. But that's different than sorry, just going and out. You. And I, I, there are there are people at my work that are helping their four or five, six and seven year olds." Jump fences mm-hmm. to be able to play organized soccer games. Right. Yeah. You jerks. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but anyway, I do hope everybody's uh, healthy and a safe. A kid's a soccer game for fun is not essential. So stay the F home and stop putting everybody and your kids at risk. We okay. want to thank Matt from the basement, also from the new podcast called Reasons Are Debatable, for Jane, jo- Janeing us. For Janeing us. Yes. Jane says, for joining us yes. last week. It was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, Can I borrow one of your several pens? The new podcast, uh, Reasons Are Debatable, I am a host on with Matt. We both co-host the podcast. Back again. It's, it is kind of a new version of Reasons Are Several. I will say I am thrilled to be back podcasting with Matt again. Not that his last name is again. I made it sound like his name is Madigan. <laughs> Madigan. Um, Madagascar. Got it. Uh, I haven't known Matt for a long time, mm-hmm. only a few years. However, I feel very close to Matt and yeah. very much enjoy hanging out with him and podcasting with him. So I was very excited that he wanted to start this podcast. Uh, if you want to check it out, you can go to reasonsordebatable.com. We will have a um, a page for that podcast on our website, mm-hmm. darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com shortly, but it was fun to have Matt on and it's been a blast to start podcasting with him again. And, uh, it's nice too, because as much as he says he wanted me to do more, he's, he's still doing, he's still a doing everything. Yeah. Matt, so, release control, fine. release yeah. control. <laughs> so it's been good. So th- thank you, Matt. I should also say thank you very much to History of Bad Ideas podcast Mm -hmm. that uh, tweeted out last week uh, that they wanted people to drop into their YouTube, uh, not YouTube, their Skype chat thing. For their podcast. For their podcast. And uh, and they called us out. Mm Mm-hmm. And I'm like, screw you. I've had a few drinks. I'm coming. <laughs> so we, it was a great time. I'm it coming was, in. It was coming good in. to see those guys. We all started podcasting around the same time. It was a lot of fun. Thank you to them for letting me uh, play for a while on their podcast. Wow. That's funny. Yeah. I actually haven't listened to that yet, but I have it downloaded and ready to go. Um, Dana was just saying there's a church across the street from his house that had an outdoor service. They must have been 100 people. That's crazy. How can 100 people be six feet apart? Were they? Mm-hmm. I feel like that's just, I don't know. Um, how that's, are churches that's still a, a thing? risk. Like, can't you like, you know, serve God and all that at home? I mean, I just, I don't want to judge, but I'm judging. Jamie says nice social distancing. You too. Is that, are you sure that's six feet? <laughs> that's we don't have, funny. we don't have to be six feet. That's funny. We're all in over here. Uh, see, <laughs> I got Dana said they were not. I got to move the monitor cause I feel weird that, or maybe I should just have the laptop. Open. Yes, maybe we should just use the laptop for... And I can just check yes, in on that. I agree. Oh, you know what I could do? Maybe I could turn it on my phone. Is it going to be big enough? Uh, <laughs> it never <laughs> is. I heard you. What? <laughs> All right, you talk for a second because i got to figure out how to do this. But the laptop's right out there if you want to grab it. Nah, um, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, so it's been a weird... Everything's okay, weird. Here we go. I mean, I, I nothing is normal. Everything is weird. So we'll it's... do that. That'll make It's me feel weird better. that Neil is going to work every day and I stay home every day and... Um, like I'm trying to be productive, but I also struggle being productive. And um, this is something I was going to talk to you about. Um, I have been having very intense and strains, strange, strains, um, stress dreams. Okay. And I had one last night, and mm-hmm. I wake up when I have them, and I, it's really hard for me to go back to sleep for a while. And just for fun, I thought I could tell you a couple because Please I do. took notes. I'm just checking everything. Um, sure the last one I had, the one I had last night was um, a joint carpool mm-hmm. to work in which I was in the back seat with like four or five other people in the car that I didn't know, including the driver. Mm-hmm. But I was in, in my head. I knew I was going 
to work and whoever was driving was driving crazy and taking like country roads. Country roads. And I also have a um, a fear of heights. Mm -hmm. And so it kind of combined the crazy driving with like whoever was driving. Like it was in like an old school like Toyota Land Cruiser because I love that kind of car. Mm Mm-hmm. And like we would go like over these like bumps, like everything was like very hilly and very windy, of course, in the country on the way to work. And um, and no, so we'd, we'd get some air and then my stomach would like drop, you know, like I would get the butterflies in my stomach or whatever. And then we'd land. I'm like, and he's like, like the roller coaster. Thing. Yeah, exactly. And he was like, what are you guys doing? Everything's OK. And then I woke up. And who is he? Who knows? Don't know. Okay. Just some, some guy driving us in carpool. Sure. I just, you know, you know how like when you dream, there's just things, you know, like I'm on my, I'm in a carpool on the mm-hmm. way to work, which I don't do. So that's obviously crazy too. But, um, so I woke up like in the air and, and again, I, I told you I'm scared of heights. And so like, I woke up like super tense and scared, but related to like my job mm-hmm. as you know. And so some of the others that stand out and then took notes for you, um, was, um, I was in the uh, uh, in a broken uh, freight elevator, and um, everything at work was um, stacked, like the desks and the chairs and everything were like stacked really high. And like I had to, um, it was like part of my job to help um, reset up like work to get it, you know, stable for everyone to come in. But I was stuck in the freight elevator and I couldn't get out. Hmm. And I and I and I was style yeah because we have a freight elevator at work sure and it wasn't that freight elevator but it was Mm -hmm. like a freight elevator and so I just kind of like had like these projects and and then everybody like my phone kept going off like when I was in the elevator and people kept asking me to like help them with their projects but everyone's curious about you having a joint on your way to work. Did I say that? Oh, that, <laughs> that's must. not, I did. I didn't mean that. No, I didn't. I must've just misspoke. I'm sorry. But, um, so like, and so I started getting like all these requests, like to my phone to like help people with their job while I was stuck in the elevator and I couldn't help anybody. And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get out of here. Like, and so everybody just kept asking me to help them and I mm-hmm. couldn't help them. And I was stuck in this like elevator and another one, one more before yep. we're done. Yep. Um, I was uh, lost and late for the airport. I don't, again, I don't know what that has to do with like my work, but I think it maybe has to do with the fact that we may have to cancel our vacation this year. Mm -hmm. But basically I was lost and on the way to the airport and time was ticking by and like I was in a taxi and it took me to the wrong airport because apparently there's, you know, uh, tons of airports close together and, and I wasn't going to make the flight and I was just super stressing out. And then I woke up like super stressed out. Like, so this has been happening like almost nightly since I've been at home. I have a question for you. Yes. What's it like to dream? <laughs> you know, what's funny is I don't normally remember my dreams, but mm-hmm. these are so intense and they wake me up that I've been remembering them, which is why I took notes. To Intensity, intensities? Intensities, intent cities. It's, it's been a lot of tense. Fabiana says take some CBD oil before bed. You know what? We have been joking about that. We uh, So we give the dog Chris zero. said I had to shut my business down, hopefully back up in May. Oh my gosh, Chris, I'm so sorry. I hope that uh, so goes this, back up. Yeah. I was just going to say uh, to Fabiana that um, it's been something that we've talked about that we wonder what the difference between dog CBD oil is and human CBD oil. I don't know that there is a difference, but the dog version is super cheap compared to the human version. And so um, I'd like to look into the fact that like, what is actually the difference? Like, is it the levels or something like that? But like, can we just take the dog stuff? Cause it's no, half the price. That doesn't sound it's half the price. Yeah. I would imagine the <laughs> levels have something to do with it. I can it. only assume. Cause the dogs weigh, you right. know, 60 pounds. However, you know, the bottles of CBD oil for like humans are like $75, but the bottle I'm, I'm for sure zero th- is like 25. So I'm sure there's a little bit more. <laughs> I'd like to think so. I would process. sure like to think so. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> Let's hope so. Uh, anyway, so, so that's my update. And I know that I'm sure you've probably noticed a little bit, but, and you haven't been sleeping well, of course. I'm just saying that I'm having these weird, and I'm sure other people are as well. And so. If, if, tell us your dreams. What's going on? Jesus. <laughs> What's uh, going on around here? D- d- keep Jesus out of it. I, um, <laughs> Jesus for Jesus. So, I wrote that down. <laughs> Jesus for Jesus. 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 <laughs> I wrote that down. We'll talk about that. So, <laughs> so Chris uh, reminded me of something. So he said that he had to shut his business down for a while. Right. And hopefully it's not for a very long time. And this is the one interesting thing about this whole situation that has made me feel, um, I guess, not, 
I mean, aside from everything else about feeling bad, one an added not feeling good about myself was that here is a, you know, hundreds of thousands, millions of people who are on the verge and could possibly lose everything they've worked many, many years to have. Right. And, and, and I feel weird because a lot of my anxieties and fears revolve around very petty things. Now they're important to me, but like the fear of not going on vacation and anymore, the fear of not having fun stuff anymore, mm-hmm. things like that. Like the fact that one of the fears that I don't have is as of right now is like us losing our home or not being able to eat or not being able to take care of our dogs. Right. And there are people that have that fear right now. And it made me just feel really bad, not only for them, but about myself that like I'm having all this anxiety and fear and, and, and disruption to my everyday life because of very petty things, but I can't stop it. Like I can't shut that off. Well, that's just, sorry. I have, I have very real fears too. I mean, obviously we've talked about if you don't have a job for a while and blah, 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 blah. Um, but even with that, we'll, we'll, you know, we we're fortunate okay. that right. we'll be okay. Um, so it's just weird. I just, it's, I can't, I wish, um, I wish I could shut that part off. But that's part of it though. That's part of what's going on with you in general though. You can't pick and choose what you think about and what you worry about and what you have anxiety about. Right. So your brain will fixate on something that you don't want it to fixate on, that mm-hmm. you're not necessarily in your heart worried about, but your brain can't stop. Like you're not necessarily worried about the way that, you know, there, there and there is spelled, but that'll keep you up at night. Mm -hmm. So does this, so it's not a reflection on you and your heart and where your heart is because this whole time you have been checking in with your mother daily. You've been checking in with our older neighbors. You, you know, we're worried about my job and how that is going. And so that is not where your heart and where your head is most of the time. But the fact that you have this other stuff that goes on that you can't totally control and that's what that focuses on. But again, it's not always, as you've said in the past and on this podcast, it's not always something that you actually find important to you. Oh, sure. Like, it was, it's quaint when like, I'm freaking out about air conditioning pumps. Right. And like in the middle of the night, you'll get up and check Amazon for something super random and you won't go back to sleep until you can solve this problem in your head. So it's not that that's where your heart is. It's just that, that there is something subconscious in your brain that is focused on, you know, part of our lives that we are in distress about. And mm-hmm. it's okay to be upset about that stuff. It's totally okay to be upset about that stuff. And it's just like this, like 1% of your brain that focuses on random things and it's grabbed onto that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I get that, but I just don't like, you don't like it because no. it makes you feel like a bad human being, but you're not, we know you're not. And I think that in your heart, you know, you're not. So, but we, but I can't, you know, help you with right. that. I can't tell you that it's right. just something that you're going to have to work through. But again, you know, like tonight you might not get any sleep because you're thinking about that, but mm-hmm. then you might not get any sleep because you're thinking about trying to get the best deal on a new hard drive for a security system. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so right. it doesn't, it isn't that it's just whatever the synapses tonight grab onto. I will say, uh, this whole thing has curbed my spending. Like there's no tomorrow. Right. We've um, been talking about like not buying anything again. Ever. We don't ever buy. <laughs> we will not know. We right. can survive on ice cubes, totally. ice chips. Like you will eat that one year old thing of pasta and get food poisoning for two days. You're welcome. And uh, like, it. we'll be talking. We're going to talk about that. Um, um, Fabiana had a, a comeback for the CBD oil. Want to read that? No. Oh, okay. okay. I thought I said, it was the biggest differences between CBD for pets and humans is a CBD oil milligram content and any added pet friendly flavor that will make the CBD pet oil even more enticing. She knows way too I was thinking much about this. the same thing. I might call her off pod and we'll might have to talk. Fuck it. Call her right now. Um, I actually, as we've talked about before, I kind of have suggested that maybe you put a couple drops on a cookie and eat it. <laughs> me and the dog. If you and Zero could take 
you know, CBD cookie time at the same time. Might, <laughs> might be a good Fabiana thing. said, call me. <laughs> might be a good thing. I might digest. I might just stick it on like that little gummy that you take every night. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I don't know. Just saying. <laughs> so the other interesting thing is because of this, and we both have long commutes for work. Right. Um, the commutes are pretty much done. Right. Uh, for, for me. You, I, I haven't left the house. Well, your commute is done too. I don't have a commute um, because I haven't been going to work. So but I was thinking about if, you know, my commute was long. Fortunately, it wasn't two hours long, but it was long. But I thought we were, so we were walking the dogs yesterday morning and I thought if I could go back to having a commute right. that was worse than it ever was, I would easily drive two hours to work and two hours from work to have everybody be back to their normal lives. Right. And I mean everybody, people that I don't agree with socially, politically, all of that stuff, right. just to have people not in fear of losing everything. I would gladly do that. Right. And as we just talked about, like... And never complain about it for the rest of the days <laughs> as that I work. we just talked about, like, so me 100% losing my job is slim. Me getting laid off is a possibility. Me getting furloughed is a is better inevitable. <laughs> possibility. Um, right now... We are okay and I'm okay, but the stress level is so high because you're just anticipating what's going to happen and I can't relax into it. And well, I don't I, help I would, that. I would love, right, no. You, I don't help a, that. To be completely honest, you stress no, me out a little bit. No, I, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I wish but I- I would I, love to work right now. Like I, I have been talking to my bosses and my company. Girl. I was like, is there anything I can do? Can I go in? Like I already work in a basement by myself. Like I don't have any contact with people most of the day anyway. Like I can do this. And they're like, no, 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 because we've shut things down, but we appreciate that. I'm like, okay, but as soon as things, I can go, I can do this. I can go in and get work and I can bring it home. Like- what are we doing? You know? Right. I know I don't help. I, I also know that I'm, I'm very cognizant of not talking. Like I don't, I don't obsess about it. So I'm not following you around going, Oh my God, this is going to be it. It's <laughs> we all We have over. talked about it every single day. Yeah. But in reference to what's going right. on, like things happen and but we're how like, do you not talk oh, about it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, really. it's, it's so. not, I mean, I don't, I'm not one to like shut our lives down. It's not like right. I'm freaking out and like, oh, I don't want, let's not do this. Let's not do that. We're all, no, it's right. just simply when it comes up. And I don't start the day by saying no, no, of how course. freaked out I am. And yeah, I mean, it's just a weird thing for me because I've um, had a job and gone to work since I was 15 on a daily basis. Like, sure, I've had like um, little lulls where I've been like in between a job or something like that. But I don't think anything more than like, six months or something mm -hmm. like that. So I've been working on a daily basis at like a full-time job, like forever. Hey, so, Vanessa Kitty. Sorry. You know, we're a little behind. It's been here. a little. Brian, Brian weird. says you commute from the bed to the couch. And then Kim said the traffic jam between the couch and the coffee table is a bitch. Um, honestly, like the dogs are on me like glue. They don't understand what's happening. Like, and now I'm like, I don't know how to entertain them all day. Every day. And the weather hasn't been great. So like we're oh, playing. It's, oh no, it's freaking amazing <laughs> until I have a day off and right. then it rains. Right. And so I've been like trying to play with the dogs outside. I'm like, do we do this? And I have to say that everybody who doesn't normally walk their dog is outside, like walking their dog. The kids are outside. The daycare down the street is still happening. So there's kids. I mean, like our neighborhood is busy. And so I try to do my very best to like play with the dogs outside in the backyard so I don't take them into the front yard. <laughs> so anyway, it's just really weird. It's weird times. You guys know. You guys are having all weird times. I'm going to talk to Fabiana about taking CBD. I don't CBD. Know. BD, BD. What is going on all around right. here? I want to move on. Whew, all right. It's enough to talk about that. I stress so, out about yeah. this stuff enough. For sure, so, for sure, for sure. Um, but yes. I it, do have another question about that Okay, as a joke. Go ahead. How early is too early for Zero to be outside barking his face off? <laughs> Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Okay, because he starts at like um, 6.37. No, you don't let him do that. I'm trying so hard. Yeah. But like, you know, he goes nope. outside. Bring him in and lock and him And just inside. starts barking his face off. And, no. I'm like, and I go, I'm like, no, 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 no. Come no. inside. And he's like, no, I want to be outside. Let's do stuff. I'm like, no, 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 no. Come no, inside. No, bring him inside yeah. and lock the door. Okay. So, Especially now, because everybody's home. Right. So, okay. So you feel like nine o'clock is the... Okay. Nine o'clock. So yeah. I will do better about bringing him inside because every time he barks, I'm like, I run out there. I'm like, what's going on? But yeah. now I respond to his barking. And so now he barks to get me to respond. Sure. He has trained me well. Well, that's the thing. Right. Um, so... <laughs> Fabiana said 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. from home said what? <laughs> you want to give an animal crossing update? We are addicted and obsessed just like we knew we would be. 
Mm-hmm. And was I didn't read the article, but didn't CNN just do an article about how Animal Crossing is saving everybody's lives? <laughs> Many people are. Uh, all the simulate. I, I guess Sims is right. having a big, a big bump upswing. Yep. I guess yep. just kind of being able to escape and do that. I, I will say this: it's been great for me, right? Mentally, for the most part, like it's a lot of fun to just kind of tune out right. and do and these fish silly and things. Collect bugs. Well, and I, I think for me, the thing is, I'm in stress, control, uh, right? But I think you stress out a little bit. Like, what about like what you can get done today? A no, little bit. You not think at all. So? Mm-hmm. No. Okay. No, no, no. Just no. want to make sure. I okay. just, I just like the patterns that I have. Okay. So. Um, and you set the pattern of like shaking the trees and axing the trees. Then, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we talked about that today. Like, what is your pattern? <laughs> but it, but it, I think it's a control thing for me. Like, I get to control this thing, and everybody's mm-hmm. happy, and everybody's fed, and everyone's having a good time, and no one's wearing face masks yet. Although you can, you have can a buy face a face mask. mask. Now. But that was a thing anyway. That's just. Something it just yeah. Asian countries do if like someone is sick, they wear a face mask when they go out to protect others. Mike said PETA complained about how you can't be vegan and play Animal Crossing. Is that true? Like, why can't you be vegan? You just eat peaches. You don't eat anything besides fruit, so I don't know how you can't be you vegan. You can't eat a fish. I guess you can eat the eggs. You can eat the eggs, That's not vegan. but you can't eat the animals. So no. I don't know. What's PETA? I don't Pete, what's that. PETA going on about? Oh well, also PETA is kind of shitty because they support killing pitbulls. Anyway, um, so, but you can't, it's because of the zoo and the- But pit bulls aren't the, animals. Not in the game. They're monsters. <gasps> Don't start that crap. What? Right. Uh, but your, I, your sister said that the cats hate the CBO. That's funny. If you put in a cookie, zero. She's got it. an evil cat. She does. She's got though. a she good has, cat and an evil cat. I was going to say cats in quotes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, this is my sister. Can as we call this people episode have cats listened and to the quotes? podcast? No, it's my sister's cat that put my dad in the hospital. Our dad yeah, in the right. hospital. I shouldn't say. <laughs> cats catch fever. Animal cross. No, I. Yeah. I think definitely, as I said, I think for me it's a big right. control thing. Mm-hmm. Like with everything going so crazy, it's nice to be in a happy place where you get to right. have fun and control stuff. But even in there, I get all frustrated. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck these eggs, man. Like today, the ATM wasn't working. You're like, I don't know, what I'm going to do all day. <laughs> I was making too much money. I couldn't deposit money. Where am I supposed to put my money, man? What am I going to um, do? And I think so far anyway, and even though I have been home and I can play more, mm-hmm. I have been, I think, um, especially compared to the way I used to play, I have been very good about not playing Mike says because um, you have to fish. Much. You right. don't have you to don't fish. You have to, technically. Well, you, I mean, technically you have to. to and the, all the fish stay the alive, museums. though. True. Right? Technically, like you don't eat the fish, you don't, you don't kill the fish. the fish. You sell the fish to the store, so I assume that means they're reselling it, but it doesn't go into that. Yeah, so. like you can't buy a fish sandwich. Right. Oh, anyway. Peter, you're so, so crazy. So I used to be super addicted. Like I would get up and play in the middle of the night and all that. So I But we have, talked about how we made rules. Right. And I have played every day, mm-hmm. but within reason, I think. So much so that I'm actually behind you a little bit, I think, in gameplay. And since I did give myself food poisoning, I couldn't play for those two days hardly at all because I couldn't stand to play. I, well, you, I, was, I was too sick to play. You thought you got addicted to video games. And then I right. said, hold my beer. Right. Pretty much. I, <laughs> well, I've also been trying really, really hard to not. Like, mm-hmm. like I could play all day. Right. No problem. It's just to have fun. Right. It's not. And so, I've again, I've been like, I, I like... If I've been playing for like a half an hour, I'm like, oh, I need to stop playing. So let's talk, since you mentioned, let's talk a little bit about what we believe to be your food poisoning. That's what I think it is. It I'm, seems I'm that it was. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Right. Um, I food poisoned myself, you guys. But let's talk about this because <laughs> many times on the podcast, you have made fun of me. About? About throwing food away that I think is bad or right. the expiration mm-hmm. date on stuff. Right. And you're like, it's not a big deal, blah, right. blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. And then- this past week, I, we I, made you something. Right. No? I, I will tell it. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I, no, yeah. no, I'm just saying. No, no, I, I, will, I will Annalise, out Annalise. myself. No, go ahead. You, go ahead. Why are you talking? Why are you talking? Why are you talking? You see Matt talking? He's not currently talking, but I'm, well, I'm pretty sure he's talking somewhere. <laughs> Who knows? He's a talker. Um, so, okay. So, a Ryan little- says, I'm happy to say I broke the 20 hour a, d- a day RPG gameplay. Nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was just going to say, I think I've played for like, I think the max I've played is about three hours a day. One day. No, we play more on the weekends. More, yes, for sure. Right. 
But like, I meant like guess Monday through Friday, like while you're not home. Like, because we're in, stuck in the week. We right. wouldn't if we could go do stuff. Right. right. Like, again, as I said, like I would love to be working right now because I'm freaked out about not working. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Okay. Anyway, so a little while ago at the grocery store, we found some healthy versions of pasta, like made from- A little while ago? Let me finish my story Okay. Now. I'm sorry. I'm God, sorry. You said- What? Come on. You said a little while ago. It didn't seem like that long ago. So I, so their pasta made out of like lentils and a rice flour. So basically pasta made out of <laughs> and veggies. And what was it? Carrots. Carrots and uh-huh. things like that. So, and then um, it had like a-, a a powdered um, sauce packet. So you basically you cook the pasta, the veggie pasta, and then you add the sauce packet to olive oil and water, and it's all heated together. Think blah, of blah, like blah. a much healthier craft macaroni and cheese. Right, and we also had a macaroni and cheese version mm-hmm. of that, which I threw away, just mm-hmm. so you know. Um, so, which I didn't realize at the time is it has an expiration date on the back. And so during this quarantine time, I'm trying to go through the soups and the canned food and things like that, and I was like, oh. There's this healthy pasta mix. I will have that for dinner one night. And to be completely honest with you guys, it wasn't fabulous. It was okay. Which it wasn't we, didn't fabulous. Think that we bought that because when it, I was you're doing, trying to cut back on carbs. And you still but are. But I was doing you a are, veggie. Oh, right. yeah. I don't need a you, lot of carbs. Yeah, but trying to do like a... So there's and this I veggie believe pasta. that one was actually for you. Mm-hmm. And the macaroni and cheese one was for mm-hmm. me. But again, we are in, you know, trying to use up the pantry goods right now in quarantine. And, and then so, shortly after that, I just kind of cut out all major carbs. Right. So like no pastas, right. no Right, which breads. is why you hadn't eaten that right. pasta yet. Anyway, so we're trying to go through the things. I pulled the lentil pasta out and I was like, cool, I will have this. Lentil pasta. It was, I think it was that one was carrot based, but yes. Uh, no, it's said it said lentils and carrots mm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so and it, the sauce was pesto. So you added oil and water. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so had that again. wasn't the best. wasn't terrible. ate most of it. saved the the third I didn't eat for like lunch the next day or whatever. So felt fine about I don't know eleven or something like that. Eleven I started p.m. p.m. after dinner. We ate dinner at like you know five mm-hmm. five thirty. Um, like the old people we are. Ed's as the old early bird special that we are. Mm-hmm. Um, started getting cramps and not feeling well. And I got a, started getting a really bad headache. And I had a headache earlier, like in the evening. And I was just like, you know, I get headaches sometimes because of my like neck and shoulder issues. Doesn't matter. So <laughs> doesn't matter anybody but me. <laughs> so um, all of a sudden that whole night, I, my stomach hurt and I had to get up and go to the bathroom a couple of times. And I was like, oh, that pasta is not sitting right uh, whatever. And then when you got up to go to work the next day, and this is, I think Tuesday, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't remember. I don't even remember what day it was, <laughs> but I felt so terrible that like, I just, I could barely stand. Like I could, I kept going to the bathroom. I had a headache, like my headache hurt so bad that my shoulders to my eyeballs hurt. Like my eyeballs felt like they were exploding (laughs) and I couldn't. So that whole day I couldn't like do much on my like phone. I couldn't play my video game because it just hurt. Everything hurt. And then halfway through that day I threw up and, um, I haven't thrown up in, I don't know how long, like I throw up like once every like five years or something. So that was my five year mark, I guess. So then I was like trying to figure out what was wrong with me. I thought maybe I had the flu. And of course, when I didn't feel good, I got really scared. And um, well, with everything going on right, right now, I got right. really scared. And so, and I looked up the symptoms and I was like, I have none of those symptoms. And then I texted you and I was like, I don't feel good. It's not that I don't have the symptoms, but I feel terrible. Just, right. so, just. So, you know, and I, I uh, <laughs> and thought I, quickly that it was probably food poisoning right. because of your symptoms. Right. And so um, I was like, I am not only I can't help prep dinner tonight. I don't know. I might be in bed. I can't eat dinner. I don't know what's happening, but you're on your own. <laughs> I'm checked out. So um, and then that went in probably like till like maybe noon the next day. So I was sick for like a day and a half, I would say. But I'm pretty sure that's what happened. And then I grabbed the pack of macaroni and cheese that we hadn't eaten yet, and it was expired. And then I was like, oh, that shit was expired. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so yes, you're correct. I don't know if and I'm I correct. And I eat expired food all the time, and I'm totally fine. <laughs> However, now you have a something to make fun of me. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I, think, I think this stuff was a little bit different because it was supposed to be natural and natural products like and natural based. So it, and like not a lot of, So it know, probably didn't have a lot right. of preservatives, which is why right. this is one of those times where you actually should listen to right. the... And so a very funny, another thing, side note to that, is I was on a um, online group 
um, meeting with my department this week. And everyone's like, so how's everybody doing? Swan check in. I was like, well, I had food poisoning for two days. And my boss, Jim, goes, were you trying to clean out the pantry? <laughs> and I was like, yes, that's exactly what happened. And everybody laughed at me. And I was like, I was like, everybody check your expiration dates. Came on to know how long it was expired. I want to say two years. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. The one was, um, um, it was like um, August 2019. Oh, I thought it was 2018. No, no, it was 2019 on the on the macaroni and cheese box. So you and didn't I need the macaroni we, and cheese but box. I, we, but we got those at the same time. That doesn't mean the. Ex- I don't know. Is the same. I'm just saying. I threw that in the trash. I didn't eat it. I think it was 2018. I think it was 19. Mm-hmm. Just saying. But but again, it was it was an organic, natural, freaking frou frou thing. I tried to be healthy and eat the pantry that's goods, what you get. and I threw up. So that's happening. That's what you get. I, but I felt terrible <laughs> for like two and a half days, and now I'm okay. <laughs> well, since we're talking about food, I was going to bring up the cereal that I purchased. Please do. Please do. <laughs> so I purchased this. There's a new cereal out there. I don't want to say the name right yes, now. Yes, it was, Mike. It was from this decade. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't want to say the name because I don't want to advertise it at this point. Right. We'll see. Um, but it's a, a new cereal, a newer we cereal. We'll buffering a little bit just so you guys know. That's out. Oh, hold on. You know what? 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 Well, there is an issue. Are we going to refresh? We're going to refresh mm. and replay. So oh, everything's going to be. My laptop is fine. Just uh, not okay, fine. but my phone is fine. Right? No. Whatever. Don't, anyway, don't let's even just worry keep about. Going. It. We're good. Um, so it was only like six months, Kim. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. So, um, <laughs> so, so there's a cereal that's supposed to be like super low carb, no sugar. Mm. And tasty and all of this and all of that. So we um, we purchased. This- I almost just said what it was called. Yeah, I'll try to be quiet. We purchased <laughs> this cereal to try it. We got a, like a sampler box mm-hmm. and got it. You love cereal, and that's I why. love cereal. That's why I, I can I wanted- do without cereal. I'm totally fine. Yeah, but Neil loves cereal. Right. So I wanted to try it out. So um, got it. Uh, it it's not the best. It's okay. <laughs> not the best. But here's the thing that that bummed me out about mm-hmm. it was that right after I got it, like three or four days later, they yeah. said, oh, we're our new and improved flavor and this and that is coming out. And I'm like, why would you be taking orders if you know you have a new and right. improved flavor? And why is it on clearance? <laughs> like, yeah, why do not like, get a discount price for the now out of date product? Right. So anyway, uh, it, I mean, it's, did you check the expiration dates on those? No, no, they were fine. <laughs> uh, lesson learned because it was one of those things that it's kind of like, you know, you can't like all diet foods, mm-hmm. you, you can't substitute like, Oh, this thing and have it taste normal. Right. But it would have been, uh, I would have appreciated had they said, Hey, why don't you hold off and try our new stuff? Or, because it might be better. Or we'll give you this at a 30% discount because we're changing the formula. But if you still want to try it, right. 30% off. Right. That would be great. But anyway. That's not what happened. Um, I'm going to wait. Cause <laughs> I sent an email, a strongly worded email, a strongly worded email. I was very disappointed. And then I'll see what the response right. is. And then next week, we'll either say like, oh, the company's pretty cool and did this, or we'll just blast What's them. interesting is I expected the chocolate flavor to be the best, but that wasn't the best. Mm-mm. The blueberry flavor blueberry was the best, was the best, which is, I find, mm-hmm. fascinating. But still, there was something about it that just, it's like- Well, it tastes like flavored- Cardboard. Cardboard. Yeah. I mean- It was a little disappointing. You didn't actually, did you actually eat it with milk? Yeah, remember last night I oh, tried right. it with milk. Okay. Yeah, because I thought, well, maybe that helps right. release maybe the, the flavor. Milk makes the difference. Yeah, no. it didn't. Well, not mil- Fair Life, which is kind of like milk, not but so not right. not totally. So um, that was my thought. Do oh, you want to check on this? Talk to our sure yeah. uh, talk about our new shows and talk about Jesus's. What is our new shows? Do you tell me about our new shows? <laughs> Haunting in the Heartland, Jesus's. Oh yes. <laughs> Well, you. Well, why don't you talk? about No, it? you talk about right. it. So, Annalise found this new show. We enjoy the the silly ghost shows. And as since you all I've know. been home, I've been. You trying all don't to... know that there might be new people listening. Yeah, you don't. If know. If you don't know, and also I, since I've been home, I've been diving into the on demand stuff a little mm-hmm. bit more. And so you found Heart, Haunting in the Heartland, mm-hmm. Heartland, 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 Heartland. How you doing? Um, <laughs> which takes place? Is it in Ohio or Iowa? No, it's like um, Iowa. No, it's, I don't think it's Iowa. I, I Indiana. Say it's, no, I think it's Iowa. I want to say it's Michigan. Oh uh, no! No, I don't think so. I okay. think it's Iowa. Okay. Anyway, well, and it's, so it's a ghost hunters show, right? And it's pretty good. And the guy hosting it grew up there, and and he said that's why he wanted to host this show there because he thinks there's a lot of stories, right? And and it's not it's a good show. It's not super hokey. It's more right. like, uh, well, this nah, I don't find anything. It's not I don't ghost know what's adventures. Going on. Yeah, it's not. It's not. <laughs> oh my god! This it's is, not. Zach's not all up in there. We've 
We've never. This is a class A EVP. This no is the one has m- ever most haunted house we've ever been in. No one has it's ever not- captured right. a ghost saying the, for the first this. time ever. Yeah, the thirteenth. time. You're hearing it right. right here. No, that's that's no. Right. It's just some dude who's <laughs> like, yeah, I think your house is haunted. Let's figure it out. Yeah, he's like, what do you think's going on here? Are you guys scared? What's going on? Yeah. However, <laughs> <laughs> however, it's very difficult for some people, and understandably, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Th- the plural of Jesus. Mm-hmm. And so um, he needed to. I I, I it think wasn't they were a possessive. trying to say. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't. I don't know at the time the context if they meant. Was it a possessive? Like this is Jesus. They were trying to say possessive. this belongs to Jesus. Right, Jesus is Jesus. This belongs possessive? to Jesus, but they said this is Jesus's, Jesus's. <laughs> plural, <laughs> which just didn't. It just as in more than one Jesus. <laughs> But they said and it. I looked few, at you and I was like, "Did he just say Jesus's?" They said it a few times, and it was it was kind of fun. But Jesus's I can't is, not Jesus's. unhear Jesus's. Jesus's is <laughs> Jesus's. Chris wants to say what we're we talking about, Jeebus. Pretty right. much. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Plural. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many Jesus's mm-hmm. there are in Ohio. However, like I or said, or Iowa. Either way, mm-hmm. um, I don't know. But it's, Jesus it's is, actually a pretty is, good ghost show if you're into that is. sort of thing. But I just, again, we thought it was amusing because we're to- we were totally watching it, and they're like, "Well, we, you know, we we like pray to the Jesus and Jesus," and, and I'm like, Did he, "What? Did he just and say again, Jesus?" Is? And again, obviously, <laughs> how many S's are on the end of Jesus? This is this is. <laughs> rec- I mean, they record it live. I mean, right. live. They edit it, right. but it, you know, when something is going on and it just pops in your head, right. I'm sure if they got to write it all out, they would have right. sat there and go, that doesn't sound right. Again, but as, it is as, just as funny. a couch bystander, mm-hmm. I've locked onto that and I can't unhear it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus is, Jesus is, Jesus is. So we pray to Jesus. Jesus. How many Jesuses are there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's it. Jesus is, is Jesus. All right. Is what about your other show you want to? So talk I about? also have been watching a new again n- a new show because I have on demand and I'm home alone. Um, I've been watching a show that has been on for like five seasons. So I not think. a new show. Not a new show. New to me. <laughs> like that. You're like um, I've been watching this new show. It's a show. home improvement show a called show. Good Bones, and it's with a mom and daughter, a redhead's mom and daughter, and I really like it. What? Well, hold on. Why would you? Why did you throw a redhead? In because front of there? they talked about themselves as gingers. Yeah, but like, yeah, but it's still yeah. It's something right. that they talk about. Yeah, I, I get it. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care for redhead. Well, okay, so but the interesting thing, and this is the point we're going to make, is they are oh, in. Are, are we in this together is it now? Indiana. We are in this together. Indiana, help me. Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Thank mm-hmm. you. And um, they buy like foreclosed properties, abandoned properties, like. Um, one of the houses they bought was four thousand dollars. You mm-hmm. heard me right, four thousand dollars. So pretty much, the county wants them to have to cover the cost of tearing down. Right, the and structure. so since and since they don't take out the they they leave some structure, it's technically a remodel and not a new build. Mm-hmm. So they get around the new build taxes and get the remodel taxes. Right. Mike said so, redheads, eh? Different. Right. <laughs> this different to the Jesus is is is. is? <laughs> yeah, the, it's a two different. Shows redheads and Jesus is, is, is you're welcome. <laughs> so anyway, so <laughs> Brian said there was there was a big butter Jesus that caught on fire. Well, I mean it's greasy. So okay. So anyway, we would just find it fascinating because like the um they bought like a house for like I don't I don't remember what she said, like thirty five thousand dollars. And it was like at the time before this, um, the most at that point they'd spend on buying a house. And I was like, are you kidding me? That's the price of a car. What are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, they do a really good job and they refurbish all these houses and they do it because they want to better their community. Obviously they make a little bit of a profit, but not a ton. I mean, they're not, they're not millionaires, you know mm. what I mean? So, um, and it, um, it's kind of funny because it employs like their whole family and they're like the stepbrother who, and then, um, the stepfather who's the, um, current dad's wife's first husband. I don't know. It's confusing, but I think it's really cool that it employs the whole family and they're redoing, remodeling houses and making them better and making their neighborhoods better. And we talked about this uh, today, right. and I think it's great that they're doing this and good for them, and they're right. making money and all this. But the way they sell it on TV mm-hmm. versus what it truly is, it takes it's is a, so it's different. A team of people. They doing make it this. sound like mother and daughter 
do it rehabbing by houses right. and no, you're like no they're a they're team a freaking yeah. corporation yeah. There's they like, have he- their own heavy equipment yeah. they have their own heavy equipment they operators have two contractors running two job sites at the same time yeah it's it's you a, know? <laughs> but it's fun it's a it's a good show but it, it, right. like all those like property brothers and everything right. else they make it sound like right. we're just coming in here no, and doing this property we're brothers has a team of mother like and daughter and people yeah. and, and i will say this too property brothers shows a little bit more of the other oh, people. Obviously, we're not here all the time. This right. this show tries to make it seem well, like... they do do a little bit of we're here today to check on the progress, but we're at another property and we had to come over here or something. So I mean they do a little bit of that, but not yeah, enough. I it's think. it's more anyway. I just enjoy it because it's more uh down to earth and realistic pricing as opposed to like a million dollar home sometimes that the property brothers do. Like these people are doing like a hundred and thirty five thousand dollars. You know, that's right. That's a home. Also where they're at too. Right. I mean, they, I, they're, it's right. kind of like, um, home. What's the one in M- Mississippi? It's the same idea. This one's right. just in, you know, ben near Aaron. Indianapolis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, whatever it's called. Right. Home, oh home gosh, I'm not for gonna, the holidays, no. whatever. <laughs> Brian, so what's that one called? <laughs> it, Property Brothers travels all around, you know, North America. Right. And right? Can, yeah. Canada, Las Vegas, LA. So North America. North America. So that's what you said. Right. Jesus's. Totally. That's North Jesus. America. Um, You're welcome. So my sister's freaking piping in with Tiger King again. She asked me this last night. No, we're not I watching I told her we haven't watched it. We're going to. We are, I am going to. But my sister's obsessed. Brian said hometown. Yes, hometown. Thank you, Brian. Hometown. But my sister's obsessed with Tiger King. You watch your own Tiger King. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> kitten. <laughs> How'd you like that? All right, let's get to some questions. I want right. to get out of here. We have to have dinner at Sunday night. I have some of us have to work tomorrow. It's Apparently, only, it's only the virus didn't shut everybody only down. Three forty-five. Um, Fabiana will be talking about the CBD situation. CBDB. He won't even notice if I put in his coffee, right? Okay. What? Well, don't don't do that. I won't. I would yeah. never. I'm just kidding. Thank you. <laughs> I would never dose you. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. All right. Um, so this part of the show we used to do way back in the day, we did our five favorites. Uh, we, we put that on a hook and hung it up in the closet and put it away. Cause we got, we ran out of favorite things we wanted to talk about. Well, after so five now, years. <laughs> now we're just, we're this, we stopped for a while. We didn't do any favorite or we had five shits, nothing. Now we're doing five questions, yeah. which has actually turned out to be a lot of fun. So and we Fabiana know, sent us the question sticks, which we have also used. So we have. There you go. So uh, let's get into our five questions. Okay. Mm-hmm. Woke up quick at about what, what, noon. What, what? What? Who's barbecuing? You can smell the barbecue. Just thought that I had to be in okay. Compton. Someone's soon. barbecuing. Who's hungry? Gotta get okay. drunk before the day <laughs> begins. Okay. Question one. Mm-hmm. If all online interactions and web browsing had to be under your real name mm-hmm. and would be recorded and archived. How would it alter your use of the internet and the way you communicate with people? Not at all. But everything's everything I, I do is pretty much under my real name, I and I could give a good goddamn. Do the same thing. It's under my real name, and I interact how I would if it would be recorded. I have forever. a video about an auto blow. You're people welcome. know I like butt stuff. Yep. What the fuck there am I go. worried about? I don't look at anything that. This question is obviously for the trolls who try to hide on the internet. I don't look at anything that's not legal. Does or anybody that's else have anything more to add to gross that? than <laughs> what normal people do? So there no, that's fine. Freaking fine. bring it. You do you. Bring it. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Question mm-hmm. two. Moving on. <laughs> Hanno said, not at all. No shame. No, Perfect. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If you're not you, then you're not you. How about you? I just said, I already okay. said. Oh man, I wasn't listening. I know you were talking. You were, you were, you were talking. You were listening. I'm talking, man. I thought, talking wait, right now? thought you'd wait for me to breathe before you started talking. <laughs> okay. Two. Two. <sighs> Would you like your partner to be much smarter and much more attractive than you? If so, what is it about you that might hold his or her interest and love? Uh, yes, absolutely, 100%. What would hold their interest and love about me? Just pure awesomeness. <laughs> Just 99% awesomeness and 1% humility. Um, I would have to say that um, yes and no. I, I think that I want a partner and love a partner that is funny and smart and the... Um, looks isn't as important to me. I just got super lucky. Well, that's that a burn. I just I, got burned. No, you oh, let me finish my story right, before you interrupt, man. <laughs> I don't know. That's I not just, what interrupting is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I just got super lucky that Neil also has, happens to be super handsome. Mm-hmm. So I, but again, I like that's, I don't, before you, I didn't go for looks. So you are the <laughs> most attractive oh, sorry. person I've ever been with. Probably. <sighs> so. It sucks to be you. 
<laughs> well, at least you don't what feel like you're, at least okay. you don't feel like you're settling. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mike I said don't. she's already much smarter than me. I just said me. that you're funny and smart. It's I just, can put up got, shelves. That's I got awesome. the bonus. So I think that's why she keeps me around. Fair enough. All right. Number All right. three. You're really good at everything, which kind of sucks. I'm not good at honest. everything. You, I'm good yeah. at the things I do. No, no, I don't do things I'm not good at. Everything. All the time. You ever see me let's, try to swap out a transmission? Let's find it. Let's find it. Ask Hanno. Not very good at that. Hanno, mm-hmm. talk to me. <laughs> okay, let me read this really quick. Talk All right. to yourself. Because oh, this one has like a two-parter, so I have to read ahead a little bit. Okay. Well, I, what, why didn't you just read ahead earlier and not now? Um, okay. So this one is complicated and drama. Do you not like it? You can skip it. It's a little drama-ish. Skip it if you for, want. I think it's, it's, um, I think it's a little bit too hurtful for what's going on right, right now. Because skip it. it has to do with like death and stuff like that. Skip so it. we're going to skip that. Sorry, you guys. Fair enough. Okay. Two-parter. If you're on an airplane talking pleasantly to a stranger, mm-hmm. Of average appearance, unexpectedly, a person offers you thirty thousand mm-hmm. dollars of one night of sex. If you knew there where there was no danger and mm-hmm. you would get the money, would mm-hmm. you do it? If the payment were meaningful, raised or lowered, at what point would you change your answer? I'm assuming I would be single and not in a relationship. It doesn't say that. Okay. It doesn't if say I was that. single and not a relationship, yeah, absolutely. If I was in a relationship, then it would turn into hey. What's the what's the amount? Right. So it turn, what's that movie? It's be, uh, yes, the, the million dollar club. What is it, you guys? What is that movie? Come on, Fluff, Fluffer versus Fluffy. Mm. So, but they basically was like a million dollars, and so yeah. they and the couple talked about it, and they said, "We really need the money. You do this, but then yeah, it destroyed we can them. save the elephants or something like right. that." Right. But it destroyed them. Yeah. So because they couldn't let it go. Right. So, like, I, at what I, point would you let me plow somebody? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, what's the money? What's the limit? What's or it's, no? What's the magic number? Um, hundred thousand. No, it has more than that. Two hundred fifty thousand. No, five hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred is the limit. Five hundred is the limit. All right. And we wouldn't talk about it ever. We wouldn't talk about the money. No. Oh. The plowing. Oh, I got you. Right. But would, you know what happened? And also part of that would be a, a thing for therapy for me. But you know what would happen is that like you would like get something and you're like, I always want, you know, let's remodel the house, this and that. Mm-hmm. And then like I'll I'll be done. I walk and be like, my dick bought this. <laughs> would that think, ruin I, it for I you? Don't, yeah, a little bit. Oh, I don't that's think you would do that. Right. That's mm-hmm. bad. Mm-hmm. I don't think you could though. There's too much pressure. This is worth five. This one doing it is worth five hundred thousand dollars. It doesn't say you have to please the person. No, but you would try to. I, I mean, would. Tr- I would like would to do think your I best. would. But <laughs> why whatever, not do I'm your best? Still making the money if the money's in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> the money's Hannah in the bank. only charges five dollars. So not in the we're, tank. I mean, that's it. <laughs> All right. Sharon pimps me out. Five that's great. <laughs> so this is part two. All right. How would the age and gender of this person affect your answer? What if the difference between having sex for immediate cash and having sex in the hope of other future benefits change the answer? Oh, no. It would be a one-time deal, immediate cash. That's it. I don't care about the sex of the person. Freaking, I'm plowing either way, man. (laughs) Well, I mean, so I don't have- You see Matt upset about it? I don't- (laughs) What? How are you doing? (laughs) I don't have a lot of experience, on the other hand, so I think that'd have to be a conversation. Like, I don't don't know what you expect from me right now, but- Right. I don't- I I think the question is more, would you be open to doing that for half a million or one million or whatever? Um- like right. if there was a rug that needed to be munched. Right. If it could like pay our house off, I'd consider it. Oh, I was thinking more with that amount of money, Lamborghini. Well, we have different goals. Whatever. <laughs> we'll what's, figure it out. What's going to keep you up tonight? I don't know. All right. So is this four? I, I don't know where we're at. I think this is four because we skipped one. Okay. We'll just say this is four. Okay. Mm-hmm. So for $30,000, would you go for two months without mm-hmm. one of these things? Okay. Washing, brushing your As teeth. As in bathing or washing clothes? It's a, I assume it's you it's because- bathing. Yeah, yeah, bathing. bathing. Bathing, all right. Brushing your teeth, mm-hmm. shampooing, mm-hmm. or even using deodorant. Assume you can't tell anyone why. So all of those things or one of those I, things? One of those things. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, shave, my, shave my head and I wouldn't no use problem. shampoo. Yeah. Not a problem. Right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, no deodorant. I'd do them all at once. I'm not a sweaty person. I, I could probably go without deodorant. I, it's totally fine. Do them all at once. No problem. I could care less. 100%. Two, mo- two months is nothing. 30 grand? Not, I'm in. Not an issue. I would do I it. I am do in. It. All right. All right. Part two. Yeah. <laughs> 
Which would disturb you more? For going to basic hygiene for months or having sex with a stranger? Which, which, I'm sorry, say that again. Which, which would disturb you yeah. more? Oh, going without hygiene. For going without hygiene or yeah. having sex with a stranger? Going without hygiene. Agreed. Yeah. Last question. Yeah. I mean, I, come on. Do we really need to know I don't, who we're That's plowing? like a different question. It doesn't even seem related. Who that could be need? number I mean, five. Come on, man. Yeah. Do we really know who we're plowing? If you think if about it, do you really you just, know your partner? Do you know me? Do you know me? Do I know you? I mean, who are come you on, right now? Man. Who's that dog? This is nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is nine. So cool. I feel like that was five questions, yeah, but technically it was a part two. So I'll go ahead and ask another. Oh, hi, girl. Yes. Can and we, nine? Have, we, have, we have 26 dogs in here. Can nine answer? Nine. Hi. Can you guys see nine? Puppy face. We have one right. dog in here too. Okay. Last question. Mm -hmm. If a new medicine would cure arthritis, mm -hmm. but kill one out of 100 people who took Ooh, it. Man, that's a lot. Would no. you want it to be legal? No. What about a vaccine that would kill one in 20? But keep the others from getting cancer. Ooh. One, one in 20 without cancer. No. It's not worth it. No. Because they can do one in 20, they can do better. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> one in 20 is brutal. You can't, I mean, that's the, com that's the argument if you sacrifice one for the greater good. No, like, no, who, no. who gets to decide that? No. You know, I would, like, I would rather, I would rather get cancer and have the other 19 people I know in my head right if now. If it could be someone live. who like would choose to sacrifice themselves for right. the greater good, but as random, like people who hope to get better that one of them just dies, one in 20, that's not worth it. No. One in 20 is not worth it. No. One in a hundred. That's 10%. That's low. No, that's not. That's. I mean, we're almost a coronavirus. Numbers. No. Yep. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stress dreams. Oh boy. Talk to me. All what right, everybody. Uh, let's end the podcast and then we'll chat on the tubers for a while. Right. How does that sound? Yep. All right. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Oh, I forgot to say, since you're all locked up, uh, you should go to doyourgin.com. Yeah. It's really uh, fun. Use Halos it's really Five, cool. And it's, it's it is. It's not very it's expensive time. for what you get. I mean. You can find us at darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com. Feel free to send us any emails or questions, or if you want us to answer questions, include mm -hmm. them in our favorite five. Right. Nope. Include them in our five questions. We'll do that. that. If you have a favorite five, we'll do it. Thank you, everybody. If we haven't already done it. <laughs> uh, who has uh, reached out and uh, wanted to check in on my yes. stupid head. I appreciate that. And we will be back. A lot of people have asked us if we're okay. We are okay. Thank you for asking. We will be back next week live because we're going to keep live for sure as mm -hmm. long as we're locked up because it's kind of fun to talk to people right. and record a podcast at the same right. time as I scratch my head. So thank you, everybody. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>